Okay, uh, I've reached my sort of quiet spot on the ride. The engine is nice and hot, so we're going to try and just uh, tune, the, tune the carbs. So, on these particular carbs, because these are not commando carbs, I've got two screws. I've got a screw that goes points upwards, and that adjusts the tick over speed. And I've got a screw that goes in sideways, and that is the air pilot screw for adjusting the mixture, which is what we're doing. So the first thing is that we set this screw, uh, the air mixture screw, we screw it fully in, and then we screw it out one and a half turns, and that is that should be roughly set. On this, uh, on the problem I was having on this bike, this screw needs to be likes to be a lot richer. I'm not sure why, but it does. And that was why I was getting a lot of popping and so on. Anyway, so let's, set, let's say that's, that's set up one and a half out, which is a rough setting. And then, and I'll do the same on the other side, other carburetor. Then the tick over screws, I screw them in so we get a quite fast tick over. You want a fast tick over, it's just easier then to hear the difference in the engine. So we set it to a fast tick over, and then what we do, we get the air screw, and we turn it one way or the other, and we turn it until the tick over is at the fastest possible setting it can be with that screw, okay? If I turn it too much one way, the tick over will start going down if I turn it, you know, it anti-clockwise, or if I turn it clockwise too far, again, it will start slowing down. There'll be an optimum position where the tick over is fastest. Basically, the more you screw it in, the richer the mixture will be, and the more it's screwed out, the leaner the mixture will be. Okay? So there's the optimum position where the mixture is exactly right. Okay. I'm going to start the engine. I'm going to put this on a very slightly fast tick over. I'm just going to turn these up slightly. Just a little bit so we've got a fast tick over. Right. We're going to start the engine. Okay, we've got a fast tick over. I'm going to try adjusting this. I'm going to turn it anti clockwise. The tick over goes down. Turn it up. Turn it off. So that, I think, uh, I think that's about it. Okay, so that's tuned. So, uh, carry on now. I hope we get a bit of a smoother ride. It's, it's been great, obviously, so far, but hopefully it's even better now. We'll see how we get on. Uh, a couple of things. Uh, so, I've got the, the uh, number plates coming loose. I've lost a bolt out of the number plate been rattling away I'll just replace that still got one bolt left so that should be okay oh I'm running that yeah so I've, so normal sort of teething thing I probably didn't tighten those up enough or whatever so I've lost one of the bolts has come out completely the other one I've tightened it back up that'll be fine and I think I've got a bit of a rattle on one of the silencers I'm not sure uh again i'll tighten up those roses in mean, silence of roses when we get back because you see these spots of uh, black i don't know if you can see them that sort of unburnt fuel it's probably coming out that's coming out of the uh, exhaust port that's not oil that's that's black sooty uh fuel so i just need to tighten that rose up so normal uh teething things uh the front brake not great back brake brilliant front brake all singing all dancing not great I'm wondering if it just needs new pads. It's not got much feel on it. It's a bit wooden. Uh, I, I don't think that the, the calipers are... No, I can see the calipers moving. So they're not seized. But it's not much zap, not much it's bite on it. It's definitely, as I'm using it, there's definitely more bite coming. So I'm thinking maybe just the pads are glazed or whatever. After sitting, maybe definitely benefit from putting new pads in there. The rear brake's fine. Uh, oh yeah, so oil pressure, I don't know if you noticed, so spot on about 45 pounds at 3,000 revs, drops to below that, lower revs and going up to 50, 55 at higher revs. So that's great because it's exactly what there is on my other, my Norton, 
It's exactly the same. It goes to 40, 45 pounds at 3,000 revs. So uh, all good. You know, just the odd little teething thing as you'd expect on the first ride out. Uh, we'll carry on anyway. XS650, part one, all the sides, and a, uh, and a Vincent Comet. Oh, and a Tiger, is that? I'm not sure. No, it's always good. Unfortunately, the guys are just going, but I had a quick chat. Which way are you going, Mark? Are you going by Gellion? Mark, you're all Roger and me, mate, Uh, the Bonnie. And there's the Commando looking okay. Yep. XS sounds good. Done a nice job on that. The five hundred single, I think. Tell that. 